A judge in White Plains today sentenced a mother to less than the maximum for poisoning her own child, saying she, he hopes she gets help behind bars. CBS 2's Lou Young was in the courtroom as Lacey Spears was sentenced for murder. Ms. Spears, is there anything you'd like to say before sentencing? No, sir. Lacey Spears offered no explanation or apology before being sentenced for the killing of her bright-eyed, blonde-haired son. She listened at obvious discomfort as first the prosecutor, then the judge recapped her crime of poisoning five-year-old Garnett Spears with salt using a feeding tube that should have been removed years ago. They say she kept him sick in a world of doctors and hospitals and ultimately killed him to harvest sympathy in mommy blogs and online posts. He had a right to grow up and a right to grow old and she stole that from him. Spears turned away for much of it, her hands cuffed behind her back. Your Honor, her actions were beyond depraved, despicable and evil. When Lacey Spears turned her back in the courtroom, I could clearly see her face from the gallery. At times, she was crying, her bottom lip quivering. Other times, she looked up at her attorney with an incredulous expression on her face, as if to say, I didn't do it. How could a mother ever treat her innocent child in such a callous, inhumane, and calculating manner? The state asked for the maximum penalty, the defense for the minimum, and the judge split the difference, mentioning for the first time the mental illness at the heart of the horror. One does not have to be a psychologist to realize you suffer from a mental illness, known as Munchausen by proxy. I hope you over the next few years come to terms with your condition. By not imposing a maximum sentence on combining punishment with something that you really did not exhibit towards your son, namely mercy. It's a sentence of 20 years to life, five less than the maximum, five more than the minimum. In White Plains, Lou Young, CBS2 News. Spears' attorney rejected the judge's mention of mental illness, saying their client maintains her innocence and is appealing the verdict and the sentence.